Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, this is another current favourites. I love doing these, I love watching these. I just like finding new products. So this one isn't going to include music, um, but I will make a separate video for all of the music that I have been loving at the moment. If you guys want to see what I have been loving at the moment, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off with clothing. The first item of clothing are these shorts here. So they're just like a dark blue with these white stripes on them. They've got some buttons. They've got a zip at the side and they're just really, really nice shorts. They kind of sit slightly high-waisted, which I really, really like. These ones I actually picked up from an op shop. Picking with the theme of pants. I have been loving these black jeans. They're kind of like jeggings because they're not exactly jeans, but they're not leggings. Kind of like elasticated around the waist. Like figure hugging, which I really, really like in a pair of jeans. The next couple of items are accessories. I have been obsessed with this bag at the moment. This one is a coach bag. So it is designer. It's just like quite a bit of space in there. There's like some zip pockets on either side. A really, really sturdy bag. And I just think it's a really, really cool design. This one, again, I found at an op shop for like $10. It was great. These, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but they're just like black, kind of like tassel earrings. Tassel earrings are like very, very in at the moment. These ones I actually picked up from La Visa. I picked them up when me and Phil went away to New Plymouth. And I just think they're so, so cute. They also had them in like other colours as well, but I just went for the black because like black goes with everything. So next I'm going to move on to beauty. First beauty product I have been loving at the moment is this. So this is the Salted Coconut Hand Scrub from Lush. Oh, it kind of just smells like Play-Doh, which is a weird kind of scent, but it's just like that kind of Play-Doh that you would get in like little plastic yellow containers that would come with like all of the tools for like rolling them out and cutting shapes and all that kind of stuff. It kind of just reminds me of childhood. It makes your hands feel so, so smooth. Herbly soft skin and scrubbing go hand in hand. And you actually get a lot of product, like you don't need a lot of this. I've had this for about a year and as you guys can see like I've barely even touched it. That's how far it goes. But yeah, I've been loving that through the winter because my hands get really really chapped and sore. We have a shower gel, so I have been obsessed with this shower gel. So this is the Body Shop Vineyard Peach Shower Gel. Oh, honestly smells like heaven on earth. It kind of smells like those, if you're in New Zealand, those like peach heart lollies that are like half yellow and half pink. This was limited edition, so I'm not sure if you guys can still get it. I have a lot of shower gels that I go between in the shower. Same with Phil, like he uses all of my shower gels. He's used to this and he loves this as well. This is the one that I always, always reach for. As you can see, I've probably got like a third of it left. So I really, really like the Body Shop shower gels as well. The only thing is like they do run out quite quick, whereas I find like the Lush ones tend to last a little bit better. Because I liked the shower gel bent so much, I also picked up the body lotion. So this is the Vineyard Peach softening gel lotion. As you can see, like I've pretty much more or less like hit the bottom of this. Well, this is technically me and Phil, like it's a team effort because he uses this as well. Really, really nice moisturizer just for when you get out of the shower. Soaks in really, really quick but doesn't feel sticky, which I really, really like. And I actually ended up picking up another one of these. Um, the only one they had left was the tester, but it's like more or less full. So I love it so much that I bought the tester and I don't buy testers. That's saying something, but this honestly smells so Oh, incredible. Exactly like peaches, like it smells so good. Moving on to food. The first food item I have been loving is actually orange juice. Now we currently don't have any in our flat because we ran out, but we just get the Kerry's orange juice. It's just a really, really nice orange juice basically. And I feel like coming into the summer months, like I tend to drink a lot more juice. Another item I have been loving is this yogurt here. So this is the Straight Up With Strawberry Natural Probiotic Yogurt. You can get this in so many different flavours, but I'm obsessed with the strawberry one. It kind of just tastes like that strawberry yogurt that you'd use in Ambrosia. If you guys are in New Zealand, you know what Ambrosia is. If you don't, it's basically where like, people tend to do it at Christmas where you put like strawberry yogurt and then you put like marshmallows and chocolate and like fruit all together in it. And it's just a really, really nice dessert. 
been loving this with grapes in it for breakfast. And the last food item that I have been obsessed with is this ice cream here. This is currently empty. This is the Premium Awesome Chocolate Cookies and Fudge Ice Cream from Much More. This is a company that um, makes their products in New Zealand, which I really, really like. And it is just the best, and I mean the best of the best, chocolate ice cream. And I love chocolate ice cream. This one blows everything else out of the water like we've gone through so many of these it's just like chocolate ice cream with just like these bits of fudge in it oh it's so so nice so next time we go to the supermarket i need to get one of these honestly if you haven't tried this flavor please go and try it it's only like five dollars or something for a tub i am going to do movies so i'm just reading them off of my phone so there's a few movies i have been loving recently this one is home again stars reese witherspoon and it's just like these four guys that she has that like come to stay at her house and i think they were meant to be fixing something but then they kind of just like stay and she kind of like feeds them and then they like look after her kids and it's just such a cool movie so if you haven't watched it Go and watch it. I'll link all of the trailers down below for the movies that I talk about. The next one is I Feel Pretty, which, oh my gosh, that was so crack up. I went to see that in the cinemas with Shosh. To put nicely, like, this bigger girl who thinks she's not attractive and doesn't think she's stylish and all that. And then she hits her head and then she thinks she's, like, the hottest thing ever. It tells you how, like, if you change your mindset, like you can actually be so happy and so content and so confident with who you are. Love Simon. I really, really enjoyed this. Again, I went to see it in the cinemas with Shosh. It stars Nick Robinson and he's gay. He's trying to survive through high school but trying to be in the closet. Kind of just tells the story of like the struggles, I guess, that people that are gay or lesbian or bi or trans kind of have. The Greatest Showman. This movie is probably my most favourite movie of the entire year. It's so good. I didn't go and see it in the cinemas because I was like, I didn't really know what it was about. I just thought it was a musical and normally I don't really like musicals. But I watched it for the first time with Shosh and oh my gosh, I loved it. I've got the album on my Spotify. Like I've been listening to that in my car. If you haven't seen it, it's basically like this guy that runs a circus. It does Zac Efron and Zendaya. The soundtrack is the best soundtrack of any film I have ever ever seen and the last movie that I have been loving is The Choice. This is based on a book written by Nicholas Sparks. I love Nicholas Sparks. It's like the story of this guy and this girl and like they do have a little bit of history together and she ends up with some other guy and he like goes through all this stuff and then like they kind of like get back together and really really good romance movie all really loved it like he really loves his romance movies Nicholas Sparks movies are the bomb like he knows what he's doing moving on to TV shows again I'm just reading them off of my phone this one is safe so it is a Netflix show that kind of just like tells the story of like this town is completely like gated in like no one gets in and no one gets out and it's all like the kind of like richer people one day this dad's daughter goes missing it's kind of like well, how does she go missing like it's a gated community everyone knows everyone kind of just like goes through his struggle to find his daughter and like it's all these other like stories that happen as well and all these other events that are like all connected it's a really really good series there's only eight episodes i think only one season it has a massive twist at the end which I really, really loved. Phil actually introduced me to it. Shameless, again, another one that Phil introduced me to. It's kind of like this family that lives in like the lower class part of town and like they all have these different stories, different things that they go through. I think it's just like a really, really good kind of relatable TV show. I think they're on to their eighth or their ninth season at the moment. I've watched all of them up until the ninth I think or the new season I haven't seen any of the new season the last TV show that I have been loving at the moment is Jane the Virgin I can't remember how many seasons there are off the top of my head I think it might be four it basically tells the story of this girl who is waiting till marriage to have sex and then she accidentally gets inseminated and ends up pregnant goes through her story and like put nicely like her baby daddy and her like boyfriend at the time and her family it's got a few twists and turns in it i think i'm up to oh season three 
from watching your spills. And the last category I'm going to do is random. First random thing I have been loving is Miss Michaela G on YouTube. She kind of just does like fashion, beauty, lifestyle, DIYs, like a whole bunch of different videos. She's very, very like lighthearted and friendly and happy and just really really cool to watch. I didn't subscribe to her for a while but I didn't start watching her videos until probably a few months ago and I have been loving them. I've been loving everything that she's been putting up. She's actually given me some ideas on videos that I can film as well. I'll leave her channel down below if you haven't checked her out make sure you do. The last random thing that I have been loving and the last current favourite that I wanted to share with you guys are these. These are Healthery's vitamin C tablets. There's 200 in here. They kind of just look like this. I just find that they boost my energy so much. If you're sick, they kind of help just to like detox your body. They say they're a natural immunity support and antioxidant. Well known as the immunity vitamin, vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that helps relieve cold symptoms. The stomach friendly formula also insists in iron absorption and supports wound healing and healthy skin. It just tastes like oranges. Like they're so easy to eat. I am not the type of person that would normally like take vitamins vitamins or take probiotics or can just buy these from the supermarket I think this tub was about $20 and so there we go guys that is everything that I have been loving at the moment that I wanted to share with you guys again if there's anything you guys wanted to check out then make sure you check out the description because I will leave links and write down everything that I mentioned today in this video for you guys if you guys did like this video then I do have another whole playlist of current favorites that I've done in the past so I'll link those down below as well so if you did want to go and binge watch some then you can. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to join the family. Please check out my social media links that are all listed in the description box below. Give me a follow on those and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! There is so much crap everywhere. Just filmed a haul, filmed makeup look before that. So this living room looks like an absolute bomb sign. I feel like we've gone really bright. She picked up, whoo, dropped one. Oh, so, so whoo, 